Hey, tonight's video is brought to you by All Natural, Fast Acting, Borowski, a great little antacid I like to chew on as candy. Because um, <laughs> I get frequent heartburn. Yay! Anyway, uh, if you look behind me, you'll see one of the world's most evil inventions. It's a scale, or otherwise known as the truth, telling you that, yes, you had one too many cheeseburgers throughout your life, and now you weigh quite a bit. Yeah, well... Got a little bit of depressing news when I looked down at the scale today. Finally got it in, uh, put some batteries into it, and it told me that, uh, well, I'm weighing more now than I ever have before in my life. It's uh, telling me I weigh 485 pounds. I couldn't believe that. I uh, tested several things. I bought a gallon of water. We got my girlfriend and my roommate to step on it, see if their weight matched after. Anyway, doesn't matter. I thought I was around 430 but the scale I had didn't work. Uh, yeah. 485 pounds, one place, one hell of a place to start, let me tell you. That sucks. But, uh, no, it sucks. Sorry. I can't say anything good about that. I can't even talk to you without shaking my table. Oh, speaking of shaking, I want to apologize for this next video. Uh, I'd set up the camera without a tripod, and it the whole video is shaky. I tried to trim out as much as I could without just keeping the essential information in there for you guys. Uh, sorry. I'll do better next time, which is tomorrow. See ya. Welcome back. This is the third session with Roberta Borkhart with YourWayYourLife.com. Uh, we're going to be going over a few things today, making sure not to shake the table too much, and uh, hopefully it'll be informative for you. Uh, we're going through to session three in her book on Nutrition 101. And I'm not going to sit here and read the whole thing to you because I did it last night. She told me to read it last week, and I did, of course, wait until last night to do it. And, well, yeah. It well, was... before we get started on this, though, okay. let's talk about how'd your week go. Week was uh, good uh, with food. Again, not as good. With, uh, better than exercise. I did. I worked out more times for longer periods of time. Uh, this last week than I did last the week before, um, but still not getting it as consistent at home because I've been going home napping and then getting up and having dinner and then doing work. So we made the rule: when I get home, no nap. It's going to be exercise when you get home. Mm -hmm. Then dinner, prepare dinner, prepare lunch the next day, whatever it is. Uh, then you know videos or games or whatever. Actually, that. studies have really proven that sleep is really important. Like a good, they say eight hours of sleep is super important, particularly. For, actually, they're saying in all aspects of health, but for weight loss in particular. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that nap is not a good idea. Yeah. So try, yeah. try to, this week I would say in particular, try to exercise instead of taking the nap and see, and see how that works. So, important lesson, because I didn't learn it for a long time, get your sleep. It's, you know, breakfast was the last lesson. You know, eat your breakfast like your mom said. Get your sleep, probably like your mom said. Eight hours of sleep, try. You know, I usually get seven to eight, you know, That's somewhere fine. around there. After eight, I think my back hurts on one side, which will hopefully end after a while. Um, but yeah, that's uh, another great little lesson because uh, it really does help. Energy, uh, today, I mean, I went to bed last night at like 10 o'clock at night and I feel great today. But And I woke up and had breakfast and you know, like all the good stuff. Yeah. Like a normal routine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, one thing <laughs> I forgot to mention <laughs> last week that happened. Uh, we were experimenting with Fiber One bars. Um, last video, obviously, we brought to you shamelessly my Fiber One, but <laughs> Uh, be careful with these things. Uh, I told you that. Yeah, she told me about um, fiber and uh, wow, eat a little too much fiber in a day and guess what, you have some side effects. Mm -hmm. One being uh, quite gassy um, that it just, it, I was, uh, I was like, whoa. I was yeah, amazed. Yeah. I was not doing that again. Uh, yeah. He, 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 he kind of OD'd on fiber. I mean, you do have to be careful. Yeah. Obviously, it's an important part, but if you're, but here's the thing. If you're already, you're getting your fiber from beans mm -hmm. and, and things naturally, for, you don't need the bars. I mean, right. the bars are a good supplement, but really, this is the better way to get your fiber. Yeah. It's from real foods, obviously. Right. So, when you're getting 15 grams of fiber from white beans, you don't have to go then and have a fiber one bar. Yeah, well, what we did is, uh, there was a chocolate fiber one bar and a peanut butter fiber one bar, and we said, well, what would it taste like if we had chocolate peanut butter? We're like, oh, it'd be great. And I smashed oh, them together. No. <laughs> and then I, then I'm careful. Um, uh, then I ate them, and then I had another bar. That was, they're 35 percent each bar, you know. And so three of them is over 100 percent that you need for the day. And then I also had some other fruit that had fiber in it. So, oh boy. Yeah, that yeah. was. Uh, you do have to be careful. Those about are that. healing. Uh, yeah, yeah, fiber yeah. Does for you. Yeah. 
So, so we're, we'll cut down on the fiber a little bit, but like yep. you said, beans are a great way to get your fiber in at night, yeah. and um, every, because everything else you said about that meal sounded really healthy. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. if you can just add that, that would be great. So, yeah, yep. supplementing different foods in is basically what, what I wanted you to get from this, so that's great. Yep. He actually likes raw bro broccoli, just which is amazingly, um, which is great, fiber as well. I mean, yeah. you can eat... I told him, bring a whole broccoli to work and eat the whole thing <laughs> because vegetable. I mean, you like really healthy green vegetables. And if you, the more of those, the better. So I would say you don't even need the fiber one bar. Bring a whole thing of, you know, yeah, cauliflower but, or, uh, or broccoli. Whole wheat pasta warning, it doesn't cook the same as regular pasta, okay? I cooked it the same and it was all chalky in my throat and stuff. So this week we have it on the, on the uh, dinner schedule. We're going to try, try the pasta again. And hopefully, it's better. If not, we're just going to go to the Trader Joe's brand. Yeah, I, I, I prefer Trader Joe's brand whole wheat pasta because I think it tastes better. And you do need to cook whole wheat pasta a little longer. It, it is much heartier. It's got a more grainy taste to it. Mm -hmm. And that may be just an adjustment. But I think, I'm guessing you didn't cook it long enough. But try it again. And again, it's an experiment. I mean, there's a lot of whole wheat products out there now, so you may just have to experiment with whatever pastas and such work for you. Mm -hmm. So he's going to give it another try. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll figure out something that works yep. that you like. A lot of this chapter was uh, more about uh, like the scientific definitions of what we already talked about. We said, okay, um, uh, whole fiber is great. Oh, why? You know, you're talking about simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates and why complex carbohydrates are better and how they'll sit in your stomach longer or in your upper intestine, whatever it is, longer and uh, keep you full longer, you know, keep you, so you're not feeling hungry all the time, which is really important to me. It, it's been really great eating all this food and not feeling hungry, and I get have little reminders to show up on my phone, dude, dude, hey, time to snack. I'm like, holy crap, okay, well, we'll get a banana and an egg, and that's what I did right now at 10.30, and then I get another reminder at, I think, 3.30, uh, hey, you got to eat some more. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to keep eating, you know, uh, and that's it's... That's great, it's, you, never feel, you never feel hungry. I don't, just don't feel hungry anymore, it's, and yeah. that's, that's different, because I used to always feel hungry at least a little bit, craving something, and then today, I mean, I was still craving today, but it was more... In my mind, like I wanted M and M's for some reason. I was eating a banana, and I wanted M and M's. But you didn't get them, right? What? Did, how did you guys do that? How did? How did you do that? I don't, how that's what I have today. I have brown rice in lunch. My lunch, we prepared a chicken sausage with apples and onions and a, wow. an apple cider. Sautéed it for a while. Really nice. Really good. And very healthy. And, and it tastes awesome. So excellent. Yeah. So you're really getting creative with the recipes. Mm -hmm. Great. It was on the package of the sausage. So. That works. <laughs> yeah. We'll try it out. What the heck? And it was the, it was the Adele sausage? Or I, what just... I think it was, yeah. chicken sausage? Yeah. yeah it was Adele so when he says sausage, sausage, he doesn't mean, you know, yeah. the, the full fat sausages that you get at the store. <laughs> Adele... <laughs> kielbasa for Yeah, no, that's not what we're talking about. We're yeah. actually talking about um, yeah. Adele actually makes these chicken sausages mm -hmm. that, although they're high in regular fat, they're very low in saturated, so it's a healthier fat. And so that's what he's talking about yeah. when he talks about sausages. And I need my meat, because I like to eat meat. And it's nothing wrong. And let's tell them the story about the um, pork you found. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was amazing. Um, I was in the store looking for Jenny O uh, lean, extra lean turkey, which is awesome. It was really good inside of the, the uh, spaghetti sauce we had. Uh, just fried it up and threw it in there. Uh, it definitely gave a really good meaty flavor into the sauce. Uh, but then I went to the store again. They didn't have any Jenny O. There was no lean. There was no extra lean. It was not, there was nothing there. But there was next to it this extra lean pork. And I was like, but pork's bad. But they turned it over, and the numbers are all saying the right things. They're saying that, you know, 1.5 grams of fat, uh, no trans fat, uh, sodium was low, everything was really great, and even compared to their other uh, low, not, not extra lean, but the lean mm -hmm. chicken products that were there. I turned over the packages, and the pork Slower. was even better. I'm like, yeah. son of a gun, all right, well, I'm... I took a picture of it and I emailed it to her. I still bought it because I'm like, the numbers say the numbers are right. I'm pretty sure. But he was sure, so good. But... He emailed me the picture of the label to get yeah. my approval, which I thought was awesome. Yeah. And I yeah. encourage people to do that if they're working with someone is, you know, ask the questions, take the pictures, make sure it's okay. And yeah. sure enough, it was. There's nothing wrong with pork. Extra lean pork is actually, you know, they say the other white meat. It, <laughs> it's not so bad. I mean, you got to be careful and watch for labels, but there was nothing wrong. Now, was it as healthy as extra lean turkey? No. no. Yeah. But it was, it, was, it was close enough where I told him, you know, if he wanted to make... Um, like us, whether it be, I don't know, what, what did you make with it, by the way? It was, uh, I haven't yet. It's still in the, it's still oh, in the okay. Burger. You can put that in spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. You can make burgers out of that. You we can... were thinking of making, uh, little meatball things and then baking them in the oven and then using that in the spaghetti or using it in other things because it's going right. to go bad eventually in the fridge. So we want to cook it up and then freeze it or cook it up and refrigerate it, uh, at least so it's cooked and mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about it going bad. 
Uh, but and freezing little, things is a great idea too. I mean, that's a big thing I taught you as well. To that's what we did with the extra sausage dish that I made. We uh, I made actually two servings and just froze one and then we took one here to work. And we have brown rice. We can just steam up a cup of brown rice and throw that in with there. It's it's that's a that's a good hearty meal. Trust me. And it's also a lot faster. I mean, you've frozen an entire meal, so you don't have to cook that meal. That's mm -hmm. a meal that's ready to go and ready. To, so it just makes it a lot easier. We don't have to think every single night about what you're going to eat when yeah. you've got stuff in the freezer. That has been challenging. We've been. Uh, you know, I've been spending an hour, two hours in the kitchen every night, and I wasn't used to that at all. You know, Jackie would do all the cooking, it was great. I would lay, be lazy and be on my computer or do something like that. And now we're both in the kitchen cooking, we're both going out shopping that the weekend to get all the food. And um, it's, it's, it's nice, but it is a lot of time. you got to plan for it, you know. And, um, and it'll get easier. Yeah. That's another one of those things. Right now you're just experimenting with different recipes yeah. and what works and what doesn't work. And again, I always tell people the first couple months of any weight loss plan is going to be hard because you're finding kind of what works for you and what's the easiest way to go about getting to the foods that you like. And the, so you'll learn and eventually within a month or two, you'll be like, oh, I only have to spend, you know, half an hour in the kitchen versus an hour and a half because you'll learn what's easy, what's not, how to do things differently. So right now it's cumbersome, but it will get better. It will get easier. And it's, it's also about just being not lazy. Lazy is a lifestyle, you know, it really is. It's... You can be lazy about your food, and most likely you're going to be lazy about everything else, cleaning the house, uh, getting work done. Well, when we talk about this being a lifestyle change for diet and food and everything, it's a lifestyle. It's an entire lifestyle change. You can't be great about food and exercise and then go home and be messy. And well, It's not likely that you will be. I'm not saying you say you can't, but it's very unlikely that you're going to be great about food and exercise and then come home and just throw your socks on the floor and... Uh, and not clean up your dishes and everything else. It really is the whole package, you know. If you're going to do one, you got to kind of do the others. Otherwise, you're, you're going you're gonna to see laziness in your life, and then you're going to allow that to seep into your food purchases and your food decisions and, and your exercise decisions, too, which is really happening to me. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, you said so, that. Yeah. That's so great it's, because it really, I think that's a big thing that people don't realize. You know, it's easy to say. Uh, I'm still not doing it, but uh, I'm working on it. We're getting there. And, and you've acknowledged the fact that there is a bigger issue. Yeah. And so, you know, that's kind of like, I mean, I'm a weight loss coach, but it also sometimes feels kind of like I'm a therapist because there's always more issues involved when you've got an issue with one thing, kind of other things come out. And it's great. And even if you haven't started on it, which you're, you'll get there, but you've identified what the problem is and you're working toward that. And, you know, that's great. You'll, you'll get there. Yeah. Baby steps. Pasta. It's a great little resource. I like all the numbers in the back here. We can, uh, when, when we're planning for the meals and we can actually feel like we know what we're talking about if I'm going to get pinto beans. I didn't know pinto beans had, oh no, it's pine nuts have so much in the protein. But even, even yeah, yeah even but beans, all are okay. beans are like a double whammy because they have the fiber and the protein. Yeah. Beans are a wonderful source. Uh, hash browns, uh, you can find them in your local grocery store, probably next to the eggs. That's where I think ours are. Yeah. I remember oh, one thing she said that I, I don't think we've recorded yet. Uh, don't add salt to when you're cooking the foods. Salt afterwards. You don't, salt to taste. Yeah, salt to taste. So salt afterwards, that's what we did. We cooked, I normally you know, throw salt and pepper in the pan while I'm cooking anything. I kept it away. Uh, we, after we made it, put it in the dish, and then we salt a little bit, and then, you know, that worked out really well. And it was still salty. It was still good, you know. Good. These are all things you're just learning along the way. And, again, they take you a little, every time you make something or every time you make something a little different or just something a little different, you're like, oh, I learned something new today. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fun. I mean, in a way, you learn new things every day, and you're like, oh, I can make this, and I really like it. And that's always fun. So. Yeah. So he's come a long way in just three weeks. Yeah. You really, really have. So um, I think what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to sit down and talk a little bit more in depth about this. But um, like I said, he's going to get the scale. We're yep. going to have that on here. And, and every week after. every week we're going to weigh in. Yep. And hopefully you're making good progress because you certainly are, sound like you are. And I think, I think you're really on the right track. You're, cool. doing, you're doing really good. Thanks. I'm proud. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.